Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Lotus Yoga Online. Um, in this video, we are going to just be doing sun salutations. There's a lot of work um, that lives in the Surya Namaskar. So we're gonna work through five sun A's and five sun B's and go about them in a really progressive way. So we'll start modified and then you can stick with the modification or you can build um, with us as we go through. Let's go ahead and start with a gentle little wrist warm up. Come on to your hands and your knees. I always start with my fingers flared out. Um, if you typically don't put a lot of weight or pressure on your palms, there's a tendency that your hands wanna curl in just because there's a lot of like tissue and fascia that gets um, bound up all, through, all throughout the day. When we're writing, working, typing, anything that it, that you do probably involves your hands. Look down at your fingers, spread out your fingers, and then grip underneath your finger pads. Start taking little tiny circles around the wrist. I always go clockwise to begin. Notice if there's any clicks or any feelings of inflammation in the wrist joints. We want to use our sun salutations not only as a full body warm up, but also as an opportunity to strengthen some of our tinier joints like the wrists. Take your circles in the opposite direction. Start to slow down your breath. Long inhale in through your nose. Then long exhale out of the nose. Your breath will start to sound like an oceanic rhythm, ocean waves. Turn your fingers towards your knees. Come onto the backs of your hands. And then rock a little bit more weight forwards. Gently rotate your elbows, not forcing, but just kind of feeling out the rotation of the arms. And gently sit your hips all the way back to your heels. You can lift up onto your knuckles and then walk your hands a little bit closer. Take three breaths. And slowly release, lift off of your hands, turn your fingers towards the long edge of the mat Walk your wrists a little bit closer together and then just gently rock side to side. A strong foundation under the palms is gonna create a strong core throughout the um, transitions, throughout the movements in our sun salutations. So we wanna make sure we maintain this really steady grip and steady connection to earth. Stretch your hands out to the front corners of your mat and then lower down into your child's pose. Untuck your toes, bring your forehead down to the mat and then re-grip through your palms. Imagine you're opening a window. So you wanna push down and away, feeling a little more weight and energy push back towards your hips and your heels. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Roll all the way up to your tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Take a little bit of movement in your down dog. I like to bend one knee and then the other, letting my hips kind of sink down towards the bent knee. I will add a little small twist in the hips. <laughs> Walk your feet to your hands. At the top of the mat, lengthen halfway, slide your hands up along your shins, get long in your spine. Forward fold. Roll all the way up to stand, extended mountain pose. Stack, hips on top of heels, roll your shoulders back, then lift your palms. Samasthi Tihi, bring your hands down by your sides. This is Samasthi Tihi, or equal standing pose. Close your eyes for a moment. Spread out your toes. 
then rock a little weight forwards, then rock your weight back. Find neutral. Draw your shoulders to your ears, get long in your spine. On your exhale, relax your shoulders down. Take a long breath in. Sigh out. Extended mountain, lift your palms, blink your eyes open. Forward fold, lean forwards, take a small bend in your knees. Halfway lift, ground your palms this time, so it's okay if you keep a bend in your knees. And then walk your hands so they're right underneath the shoulders. Instead of lifting away from the earth, you want to push your palms down into the earth and then pull your chest forwards, creating like a little concave belly and core. Lift up to your toes as high as you can and then step back to your high plank pose. Inhale. Lower your knees. On your exhale, lower your chest all the way down between the thumbs. Lift for your cobra pose, tend to your fingers. Inhale, roll up through your, your chest, drop your elbows. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, use your inhale to lift up high plank on the knees or the toes. Downward facing dog, press back. Take three breaths in through your nose. Out through your nose. Lift your gaze to your fingers. Notice if your knuckles are lifting, your fingers are, are not fully connected to the mat. Make that connection and then relax your head and neck back. Take another long inhale. Fully exhale. Gaze forwards. Walk your feet to the top of your mat right underneath the hips. Half lift, draw chest forwards. Forward fold. Extended mountain, inhale. Samasitihi, exhale. Second round, inhale. Fold at the waist, exhale. Plant your palms all the way down under the shoulders. Inhale, press down, lift your chest. Lift your heels, step your other foot back to your high plank pose. Big breath in. Lower your knees and then your chest, exhale. Cobra, inhale, roll your shoulders up. Exhale, release. High plank on the knees or toes. Big inhale to lift. Downward facing dog. Exhale, three breaths. Notice if you have, it, if you have a habit of stepping your feet closer or adjusting your foundation, trust your foundation from your plank and your up dog and allow your body to catch up to that foundation. One more breath in. Root back through the heels. Inhale, look forwards, step forwards, half lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain, inhale. Samasitihi, exhale. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low plank. Step back in one breath, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog, or you can keep your cobra pose. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Three breaths. Notice if any tension builds in the neck and shoulders. Take a small bend in your elbows. Wrap your elbows in and then re-extend. We're broadening through our back and strengthening through the chest. One more inhale. Full exhale. Gaze forwards, step forwards, halfway lift. 
Forward fold. Extended mountain, inhale. Samasti to he, exhale. We'll do one more. This time adding on a little strength drill um, so that you can start working up to floating forwards and floating back. So this one we're not gonna hop, but we're simply gonna lift one foot at a time towards the wrists to deepen the forward folds. Starting in Samasti to he. Inhale, extended mountain. Follow your fingers with your gaze. Forward fold, exhale. Palms plant. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep the palms rooting. Now roll up to your tiptoes. Flex your right foot so you lift your right toes off the mat. And then tap your right toes to your right wrist. Return your right toes down, flex your left foot, lift your left toes, tap to the left wrist, and then release. Take one more breath, lift your heels a little higher, press through the palms, then step back for your low plank. Stay engaged in the shoulders. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Three breaths. Draw kneecaps up towards the thighs. Stay firm in your legs. One more inhale. Full exhale. Lift your heels. Set your gaze to your thumbs. Now keep your legs straight, but slowly tiptoe and close the gap from your toes to the heels of your hands. Once you're as close as you can get, flex your right foot. Tap right toes, right wrist, and then return right toes down. Flex left foot, left toes, left wrist, and release forward fold. Roll all the way up. Inhale. Samasti to he, exhale. Let's move on to our Surya Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B, adding on chair pose and warrior one. Your feet can be together or hips width, whichever feels best for your legs and your pelvis. Inhale, sigh out, exhale. Chair pose, bend your knees, lift your arms. Palms can be above the shoulders parallel or you can press your palms together to create a little more opening down through the side body. Take a long inhale, tuck your tailbone. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, low plank. Remember you can add the strength drill with the toe taps on or continue moving really smooth with your breath. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Step your right foot towards your right wrist right away. It's on the out breath. Inhale, rise. Warrior one. Exhale, release. Palms to the mat. Lift your right leg and step to your low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Ground your right heel. Step your left foot. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, low plank. Keep the core active as you move in and as you move out. Three breaths in our downward dog. Keep spreading out through the palms and spreading out through your feet. Send energy up through the tailbone. Relax your head. Gaze forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, lift your palms. Samasti to he, reset. So two more rounds. Chair pose, inhale. Fold, exhale. 
half lift, inhale. Low plank, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Step right foot through, warrior one. Big inhale. Low plank, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Keep your legs active, lift your thighs. Downward facing dog, step left foot forward. Inhale, exhale, low plank, upward facing dog, pull your chest forwards, press your shoulders down, downward facing dog, three full breaths, in and out. Think one line of energy from your wrist all the way up through your tailbone. And one line of energy from your heels up to the base of your hips. One more breath. Finish the exhale. Look forwards, step forwards, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale. Samastitihi, reset. Last round, moving with breath. Chair, inhale. Fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale. Low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, press forward. Downward facing dog, roll back, step right foot, warrior one, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, engage the whole back body. Downward facing, step left foot through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Inhale, upward facing, downward facing, three full breaths. If you need to let a little bit of heat out, take a big sigh out of the mouth. One more breath. Gaze to the top, move to your hands, halfway lift. Forward folds, chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale, Samastitihi, exhale. We're going to make our way down to the mat, extended mountain, forward folds, inhale, halfway lift, high plank, step back, hold your high plank. Breathe in, shift forwards, lower all the way down to the belly. Flip over onto your back. Hug both of your knees to your chest. Give yourself a big hug, big squeeze. If you need to rock side to side, you can add that in. Bring the soles of your feet together. Then let your feet come down to the mat right in front of your hips for Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining butterfly pose. Place your right hand on the low belly and your left hand up on your heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in all together. Then sigh out. Take a few resting breaths. Feel the warmth pulse through your veins, and the energy pulse through the whole body. Our sun salutations are full body action, expanding the heart, strengthening core, 
creating a little bit of functional movement in the hips. Notice how that work lands in the physical. Take 10 breaths. You can stay here in your reclining butterfly or extend your legs. Relax your arms if you'd rather finish in a Shavasana. Recognize any tingling in the body, or any thoughts in your mind. Allow a simple passage, being both observant and aware, but not attached. On an inhale, reach both of your arms out over your head, like you're just waking up for the first time today. Big inhale. Sigh out. Draw your knees to your chest. Roll over to your right side. Send gratitude out to someone else. And wrap yourself in gratitude for your practice, for your focus. Use your left hand, press down. Gently lift yourself up to a seat. Thank you so much for joining the sun salutation practice with myself and with Carson. We hope you join us again tomorrow. Namaste.